y'all welcome back to my channel i'm sure you've seen from the thumbnail and also the title that we are trying blonde today someone asked me to do that and y'all i was scared but i'm excited so this unit is from ys wigs it is a custom blonde unit and the color is just so amazing this unit is a lace front construction this is what the cap looks like on the inside it does come with it's supposed to come with two combs on the side, but one of them is missing, but you can easily just transfer the one in the middle to the side where it's missing. And there's also a comb at the bottom. I'm just gonna put it on and test it out and see what we looking like. And listen here, I'm liking blonde on me. I couldn't wait to get my makeup and just the whole look together to see how it was really gonna look. But your girl is surprised that I'm kind of liking this. The hairline is already pre-plucked, so I don't need to do anything to the hairline, which is great. This is what it looks like on both sides. I'm now just going to part it off where I desire for it to be parted, and then I'm going to follow up with some mousse just to flatten it out and make sure I don't have those flyaways that are there. After we've done that, I'm going to turn it over and we're going to do the Sally Hansen method. The Sally Hansen airbrush spray that I'm going to be using is in color Deep Glow, and if you're new to my channel, I do this all the time. It's an alternative to actually bleaching knots. So if you're someone who struggles to bleach knots or you really just don't feel like doing that, this is a great way to conceal those knots. After you've done this, at the end of the install, you may wanna go in with some powder or something like that to make the part look more refined, but this process does a great job of making sure that the parting area looks so much better. After completing this process, you just need to turn the unit over. You may have to wipe off some of the excess spray if there's some on the hair, and then you're just gonna flatten out the hair at the top just to make sure it looks so much more natural. So I like to use mousse to do this, and I found that any mousse really works, <laughs> or you can spray water or both. It really is just up to you. This unit does come with baby hair in the front, but I'm not really gonna be laying baby hair for this style. It also comes with about three to four inches of parting space, maybe more so three. It has dark roots, which is so good for someone like me who's new to trying blonde. Just a completely all blonde unit probably would have been even more scary for me but I love 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 the gradient or rather the ombre effect that they did on the roots that really makes me feel so much better so I went and put on some makeup and now we're gonna install the unit I've already done the ball cap method and if you all saw my previous tutorial you've already saw how I went about doing that I will link that one in the cards above so that you guys can see that process the moment I put this unit on it was giving me Barbie vibes. I felt like a little black Barbie. This is such a gorgeous unit. And I do have to let you all know that there are two options on the website for color. There is the Ombre 613, and then there's also the color like Dominique A. You wanna select like Dominique A. This one has like a pink undertone and like this brownish color. It's like a platinum blonde, but the color is just so much more uh, rich to me in this particular unit. So this is definitely the one that I would go for. Mine is in lint 22. I believe the density is 130. If not, it's going to be down in the description box, the exact density, but I believe it's 130 and the texture and everything feels so good. I love the texture of this hair. In order to secure this unit down, I've already applied the gossipy glue in the yellow bottle and I actually spread it out really thin this time so that it's not all cakey and also so that I don't have any white residue that I'm having to clean up. When the gel is tacky, you just need to begin to place the unit down over where you place the gel. And I love this hairline. It's one of the best hairlines that I've worked with. The way that they've constructed this hairline made it so much easier for someone like me who has a boxy hairline when installing. I literally could just lay it down and everything's placed where it needs to be. Use the back of my rectal comb to press into the lace. And I did have some areas where I had to go back in and add a little bit more gel, but Placing it down was just so much easier this time. I usually have to place it and then lift it up and then place it again, but this one just fell into place so nicely. I just cannot stand how awesome this looks against my skin tone. It really shocked me. I was not expecting this. So after this, I'm gonna take my wig grip to set my unit. And I've been using this a lot. It's supposed to be used so that your unit doesn't slide. So if you're someone who doesn't want to use the gossipy glue or gel or anything in order to secure your unit down, you can place this under your unit and it's not supposed to move anywhere. And I've tried it and it works. So you could use it for that. But I've found that lately I've just been using it in order to set my units in place in the front. So I'm going to apply some argan oil to the hair and begin I was gonna straighten it initially, but then I decided, let me put some curls in it and see what that looks like. And I'm gonna have to leave the link in the description box for this titanium flat iron. This is the best flat iron that I have used ever in life. It is killer.
my curls are all finished and this is what they look like. How nice did they turn out? That flat iron, I'm telling you, put in some work. It was kind of interesting trying to figure out how to do it, but I got it, y'all. I got it. So I'm just going to do a full spin so that you all can see what we're working with in the back. It took me about 30 minutes to do this. I had the flat iron on 450, so this hair takes very well to heat. Straightening it and curling turned out so well. After removing the wig grip, you could decide to leave the curls as is, but I decided that I'm going to brush them out just to give it a more full and voluminous look, and I love how it turned out. ladies that's the end of this video i hope that you all enjoyed this color y'all have to let me know what y'all think it's so gorgeous i did later decide to spray on some hairspray just to tame the frizz from brushing out the curls because you will notice because this hair is colored the ends will need some extra tlc so you will have to make sure that those are moisturized so i'm applying some main choice restorative spray and it made the curls look so much better so i look forward to your comments and feedback be sure to like this video also share it with a friend i love Love y'all. Be sure to check the description box for the link and the details to this particular unit. I will see you all in my next video, guys. Bye, y'all.